This is our second trial run of bare metal node. We now have bare metal node running on two machines. We'll go ahead and start up the orchestrator and we'll do an initial discover. So we had found two machines. Uh, each machine has two cores. One is running at 3 gigahertz, the other one 3.2 gigahertz. Each machine has two gigs of RAM and we're both booted off of the same 61 megabyte hard drive. So we're going to take a look first at the source code here. This is the Prime SMP test program which we'll be using to benchmark the machines. It's a pretty straightforward program that takes a look at uh, a group of numbers uh, and discovers if they're prime or not and then displays the results on screen. So what we'll do first of all is we will dispatch the program to all of the available nodes. We've already compiled the program previously. That's complete. What we'll do is we'll just run the test on node number two first. So we'll send some parameters to node number two. And we're just going to run this on one core first of all. And we'll go ahead and execute the program on node 2. So we can see the program is running on node 2. Currently it's checking all numbers between 1 and 100,000. And it discovered uh, 9,591 prime numbers in 7 seconds. Uh, the actual number is 9,591 because we did not count uh, the number two which is the only even prime number we're only checking odd numbers so now what we'll do is we'll send the parameters again to the same node and we'll tell it to use two processes instead of one and we'll go ahead and execute that so now we're using two processes as this is a dual core machine and we can see that it discovered the exact same number, this time in only four seconds. Now what we'll do is we'll also distribute the load to the other node. So we will update the parameters on node number one first. We'll tell it to use two processes, starting at the number three, and we'll increment each digit by four. Also send the parameters to node 2, telling it two processes starting at the number 5, incrementing by 4. And we will go and execute on all nodes. So the program has started on both, and the program has completed in 2 seconds. If we take the two values that are on screen, 4783, and add that to 4808, we'll get 9591. Also adding the number 1 for number 2, which is the only even prime number, and we have our result of 9592. So we can see with bare metal node, with a properly written program that executes uh, parallel, we can see that performance increases uh, dynamically with the amount of cores on a linear scale. That is all.